Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a Minecraft mod without MTP. We're going to be using 13W09C for this, which you can download here and you're going to need a copy of that, all links in the description. So basically what you want to do is you want to download it and then you want to get KDKY. And basically in KDKY you want to open it and it will have all these classes. Basically what these are are their Minecraft classes. Like if you're using something like MTP, they'll have nice names. Basically, MTP converts them, and they're different for every snapshot. So basically, what we want to do is we want to find the main menu class because we want to modify it. So all you have to do is search for menu, and it's pretty sure it's this one. Uh, yep, this is it. Um, so I'll just make that a tiny bit bigger so you can see. Um, to prove this is the main menu, you can see it refers to title splashes, and this just loads it, and then it chooses a random one here. So basically what we want to do is we want to add a new button to the main menu, and this is just going to open up the website. So basically how we're going to do this is we want to copy this class, and then in Eclipse we want to go File, New, Project, in Java project and we're going to call this snapshot mod and then we'll hit finish. So once we've done that we need to create the class and what was the name of that? It was BJZ. So BJZ hit finish and it'll create your class. Then you want to paste all that information in. And you'll see like a thousand errors. It's easy enough to fix this. All you have to do is right click on the snapshot mod Build properties, then go uh, Java build path, go libraries, add external jar, then go find where you saved your snapshot and add it in. Basically, this should correct most of the errors. You'll probably see loads more. Now, an easy way to cor correct these is to um, go find your Minecraft snapshot, uh, your Minecraft directory, and just go to bin and then include these ones and that should wipe out most of the errors. Now there'll be one or two left. Um, so this doesn't look like it's really needed. Um, so we'll just do that to you. And that takes out most of the errors and there's one or two more. Um, we don't really need this because power PCs aren't that popular and I doubt anyone with the mod will want to do it. Okay, so basically you're done. You can modify anything in here, but you probably think, oh my god, this is all blah blah. Um, so we're going to add a new sort of button. So basically, uh, that's the text at the bottom, and to add a new button, what we want to do is, you can see this is where the buttons actually get rendered. So you can see the quit button here, so we want to add a button below this, but we want it to be the width of the, we call it, the multiplayer button. So we can copy and paste this. And we'll ID this is number 99. These, this is just a unique ID for later. And basically, what you want to do is you want to uh, times that by 2. And that should work. Actually, you probably want to do something like 4. We'll have a look later. And then this is the text for it. So we want to say go to Google. Now basically this is where the IDs come in. So if aramawa dot f equals equals ninety nine, then we want to do our magic go to Google code. Now basically we can just nick the go to Google code from down here. Uh, because it's already in the code. So we just do that. Then we just change this to google.com. Then 
and you'll see we have a couple of errors. Um, basically, we can just correct them by copying this in. Well, we need to do the real part. Okay, so basically, that's all you need to make it go to Google. So now what you want to do is you want to go file export and you want to go jar, java jar snapshot mod and then you want to go into your downloads folder and we'll save it in the folder we made as mod and hit finish. Okay so you basically just made your first snapshot mod. Now, there's no way to like debug it like you do in uh, MCP or anything like that. So basically what you want to do is you want to rip out this BJZ class. And we're going to go to our app data folder. So we'll copy this to our clipboard and go to app data into bin. And this is our snapshot again. So we want to remove our meta.in because it won't run otherwise. So that's that done. Then we paste in our new class. And then we run Minecraft. So, Minecraft. Login. And as you can see, the positioning isn't that accurate. But you could put it here if you want it. So maybe it needs to be times by four. But when you click it, it will open. So thank you for watching. If you want more of these type of tutorials, please leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.